I'm going to start off by grabbing a small flat brush. This one just so happens to be a number two by Winston and Newton, but like always, any small flat brush will do just fine. And I'll leave a link to some good ones in the description below. When prepping the area to paint, I first painted a more neutral color as a base. And this was a mix between burnt sienna and a small amount of ultramarine blue to darken it up just a little bit. After I let that dry, I proceeded to the rocks like I am now. To keep it harmonious, I stuck with the same colors I have on the ground but just added more ultramarine to create an almost black light color for the shadows. And I'm gonna use a little bit of raw umber as well if I feel like it needs to be a little bit darker. All I'm really doing is placing random lines throughout this area which will eventually become the shadows of the rocks and it's really just that simple to start to create these rocks. I do jump around when I'm doing this part just to make sure I'm not creating any sort of pattern. I focus on making some bigger some smaller and some just weird shapes. I'm going to speed through the second row, but I'm doing the exact same technique that I just showed you. I'm grabbing a smaller round brush now, and this is just a plain round brush. There's nothing fancy about it. And I'm just adding a little bit more titanium white to the shadow color. Take a little bit more care in placing this middle tone color because we're starting to shape the rocks a little bit more. And as you can see, we place this color on top of the shadow color and blend just a little bit down into it to sort of show that the rock can be rounded like that smooth pebble-like um, look.
Now the real fun begins. <laughs> I'm going to grab a liner brush and start working on the lighter colors. I have a bunch of liner brushes and just like the round brush and the flat brush that we've already used, I'll leave a link in the description to the liner brushes that I like to use the most. As well as all my other supplies that I'm using, my canvas, my paints, um, my palette is just a glass framed photo from the dollar store, um, but everything else that I use I'll leave in the description below. I go back and forth between brushes all the time and honestly it's just so I don't have to clean them while I'm painting. <laughs> Taking that same rock color and adding even more titanium white to it will create the lighter color we're looking for to start creating the highlights on these rocks. Mixing a lighter color is going to give us that final shape we've been looking for in these rocks and you'll start to see everything come together quickly now. I go a little slower here, really thinking about the shape of the rocks and where the sun is going to be hitting it. You'll also notice that after all the brighter color has come off the brush, I'll go back and blend some of the rocks to create a more neutral look to them. And at the very end, after all the lighter color is applied, I'll go back and make sure everything I want smooth is exactly the way it is and I'm happy with the way all the colors are blending together to create these rocks and that nothing is really jagged or standing out or that there's still those like definitive three colors that we laid down.
When everything is the way I like it, I take almost a pure white with just a little, little tiny bit of my rock color and I add the highlights. I always save my lightest color for last. So there you go. Um, I hope you really learned something. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I read every single one of them. I thank you so, so much for watching this video and staying till the very end. I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys.